Good morning and howdy friends. <clears throat> I'm coming to you from inside again today. It is still cold. It got down to 25 last night and it stayed right around 27 until just a short while ago it finally got up over the freezing mark. It is still cold. I've been working outside. I got plumbing problems out the gazoo. I got washing machine problems. Just about everything I own is dirty and needs to be washed. Dishes, pots and pans, me, and clothes, and towels is all dirty, and I can't wash anything. I'm trying to fix all that right now. I got water. The water well works. It's just not working in the house or in the utility room. I'm going to read to you today from the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 7 of Matthew, verses 13 through 23. So, here we go. Let me grab my Bible here <clears throat> and get, get my voice cleared up. Beware of false prophets. Whoops, sorry about that. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. And friends are everywhere. Every church around here is like that and just about everyone I'm on TV last time I looked at TV which was a long time ago and I imagine it's worse than it was then now so just beware you got to know the Bible good you got to know the Holy Spirit let the Holy Spirit tutor you and teach you as you read God's Holy Word he's the only one you can really truly depend on to give you the truth without twisting scripture around without uh, leading you down a wrong path. All right, let me continue on. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorns or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a, cup tr a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So be aware, be aware, be alert, be vigilant. Verse 19, every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, cut down, and cast into the fire. Bam. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Are they bearing good fruits or are they bearing evil fruits? Don't be deceived. Many are very good at deceiving you. You've got to know God's holy word and only the Holy Spirit can interpret God's holy word for you accurately. Not everyone that saith to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And all of this I'm reading is Jesus himself speaking in his Sermon on the Mount. And his response to them was, Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Those are words you never ever want to hear coming from Jesus lips friends don't be like I was for 51 years of my life pretending to be a Christian but producing evil fruits I proclaimed to be a Christian but my fruits were not real my fruits were evil 
God and the Holy Spirit got a hold of me, <clears throat> turned me every which way but loose, just like he did with uh, Jonah. He had to do something drastic to get my attention and to draw me to him, just like Jonah. Just like Jonah, I've been his servant ever since. I pray that you truly know the Lord and that you truly serve the Lord and that you're not a fake Christian because most people out there <clears throat> are fake Christians. I love you. God's given me more. I've got a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. I am busy. I've been busy since the sun came up this morning and I'm fixing to get busy again. But I am going to try to give you two or three short videos today to kind of get caught up. Love you. Appreciate you sharing my Jesus videos. The world needs Jesus. <clears throat> if you do not know Jesus, Acts 16, 31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Jesus did all the work that had to be done to be saved at Calvary. He died for your sins and my sins. All you have to do is believe in that and in him as the Messiah. <clears throat> He will change you into a new person in Christ, and you will become his servant. You will love serving him. I love it. You will love it, too. That is my prayer for each and every person that listens to this video. Talk to you all later. God bless you.